Thanks for watching my video today. We are going to evaluate this indefinite integral. Okay? The integral from 0 to pi over 2. Square root of sine x upon square root of sine x plus square root of cos x dx. Okay? So what will be the answer here? So you can calculate, okay? Now, okay, let's start it. Let's start it. So Okay, now let's use substitution method, alright? So, let me go our integral to be i, okay? 0 to pi over 2 square root of sine x plus square root of sine x plus square root of cos x dx okay now let's use substitution method meaning put x equal to pi by 2 minus y so if i differentiate i will get minus dy right so let me call this one to be one roman number one. so our i is going to be pi by 2 to 0 now why because if you plug 0 here so y will be pi by 2 right if you plug pi by 2, y will be 0, okay? So this is the square root of sine pi by 2 minus y upon square root of sine pi by 2 minus y plus square root of cos pi by 2 minus y and minus dy, right? dx is minus dy. So we know that from the properties of definite integral. So here minus and this will be the limit will be interchange. Right? So because of because the limit can be interchange because of this minus, right? So due to this minus, the limit can be interchange, right? Square so, you know, what will be this? Sine of pi by 2 minus y, this is cos, right? Cos y upon square root of cos y plus square root of sine y dy. Let me call this to be 2, okay? Now we are going to add 1 and 2, adding 1 and 2. Adding 1 and 2, we will get... So 2i is equal to, if I add this here, okay, this and this will be 2i, right? So this is equal to, then the integral from 0 to pi by 2 of square root of sine x plus square root of cos x over square root of sine x plus square root of cos x dx. Now if I add 1 and 2, I get this one because here... The denominator are same thing, right? Here, this is the variable here is x and here is y. But I write both them, both of them x or y. Okay, anyone you can choose, because in in definite integral, if the variable if the variable is changed, then the integral is doesn't change. Okay, if the if the variable changes, the integral doesn't change. That's why that's that's why I use. In place of y, I use I can use x, right? So, here yeah, the denominator are same thing only, and numerator square root of sine x. Since I add so plus square square root of cos x, right? So, why I can add this two? Mm, yes, see the properties of different integral. Okay. Now, these two are. The same thing, right? So same thing means cancel out. So this will be square root of pi by two dx. Now, now integral of dx is what x. The limit is from zero to pi by two, right? So two i is equal to. Now if I plug zero here, it will be zero. So just cancel out, okay? Now if I plug here pi by two, it will be pi by two. 
so what do we get or i is going to be pi over 4 right so one is i i is our integral so therefore our integral from 0 to pi by 2 square root of sine x over square root of sine x plus square root of cos x dx is pi over 4 okay and also not that and the integral from 0 to pi by 2 square root of cos x over square root of sine x plus square root of cos x dx is also pi by 4 okay just they are the same thing only so okay so this is our answer so hence proof